Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Time recording is a crucial task in company operation which save as a base for planning works according to the agenda. When you initiate a new project, it is very important to have a precise idea about the distribution of time for the task included in the project. During the course of the project, recording the time spent on each task will help you to examine the progress of that and also it is possible to inverse the project based on time recorded to complete each task in the selected project. In short, we can say that the time tracking is an integral aspect of project management that is concerned with planning the entire project in a systematic manner. The project management module in Odo comes integrated with the timesheet module that will benefit you in tracking the time taken by each assigned employee on concerned project and the task. So you will get accurate reports about the time distribution on project with the help of these two modules and when you start a new project in the project module you can enable the timesheet feature for that project. So the recorded time can be later used for invoicing process if you want to invoice your project based on the timesheet. So here in this video, it gives you an insight into how to use timesheet for project management in Odo. So to work integrated with the timesheet module, we need to activate the timesheet option in the project module. For this, we can go to the configuration menu and then we can go to the settings. So here we can see the option timesheet under the time management section. So we can activate this. So here I am already activated this timesheet. So we can uh, save the changes before leaving the page. Now we can create new project with the timesheet. For that we can go to the project dashboard and click on the create icon. And a pop-up window will appear and here we can see the timesheet option as activated. So here we can provide the project name. After specifying the project name, we can click on the create icon and this will lead us to a new screen where we can create stages for the project task. So defining stages for task will help us to track the progress of the project. So here we can create the stages. Next, we can create task for the project for then click on the create icon and here in this field we can provide the task title. And we can click on the add. So here we can see the task that we have created and it is possible to change the stages from here. So we can click on the edit icon to add more details about the task. So while creating a task, you can here mention the name of the task, project name, assignee's name, customer details, plan date, deadline and the tags. So here the customers can be selected from the drop down menu and uh, a new field will appear that is sales order item. So it is automatically added and here we can set the plan date. And here we can set the deadline and also here we have the option to add the tags. So it is possible to add multiple tags here. And here we can see the option to enable or disable the recurrent option. Additionally, we will get the description, timesheet, subtask and block by tabs to define. So as you can see here, we will get separate field to record the estimated time and the track time. So before starting a project, it is necessary to set a deadline for, for the project so that you can complete the task within the scheduled time. So you can specify the calculated time required to complete the task in the initially planned hour stage. So here we can set the initially planned hours and this time may vary from the actual track time. So you can manually record the time using the add a line button and here we can mention the date, employee, description and the hours spent on it. So here we can provide the description. 
and here we can spend the uh sorry here we can set the hours spent on it so according to the record of track time the progress of task can also be seen in the percentage in the timesheet so after creating a task you can use the start button to record the time by doing so odo will automatically create a record of the time in the timesheet tab so we can click on the start button so here we can see that the timer has started now and also here we can see the option to pause it so after completing the task you can click on the stop button and we will get a confirmation window and uh, so here we can mention the duration and also here we have the option to describe the activity so we can uh, confirm the time spent on the task by clicking on the save button and this will be added to the timesheet on this task so here we can see that uh, the timer has added to the timesheet so this is how we record time in the project management module. It is easy to examine the time spent on each project by assigned employees from the project dashboard itself. So we can go to the project dashboard. And here we can see the project that we have created now. So the option to view the operations in a project and generate reports can be seen by clicking on the three dots and here we can see the view menu to view the task, timesheet, planning and the project updates. So we can click on the timesheet menu and the records of all timesheet of the selected project can be seen here in this window. So the preview include the date, employee, project, task, description and the hours spent on each task. And in order to uh, analyze and create reports about the timesheet uh, recorded for a project in the project module, we can select the timesheet and planning op uh, analysis option from the reporting menu. And this option allows to examine the time spent by employees on the selected project. So the pivot view of the reporting platform will show the analytic data regarding the planned hours, effective hours and the remaining hours to complete the project. So the reports of the timesheet can be generated based on the uh, assigned employees, project, task, sales order, sales order item, date, etc. And we can use the graphical view for the reporting platform to get the uh, line chart, by chart and the pie chart option for the timesheet so the available filters and group by option will help to improve the reporting of timesheet on this platform and the integration of timesheet in the odo project module is one of the crucial step in the management of project so with the help of odo erp system you can effortlessly keep a record of timesheet on each task separately in an organized manner so that's all about the video thank you for watching